command. I don't care what they do. They all, my only two rules are stay up there and be quiet. So if you notice when he got down, I said no immediately to mark the, the wrong behavior. No, 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 all the way until I got to him, put him back up to the climb, and I said climb. Now I should be able to walk away. I should be able to come up to him and pet him and walk away again. If he takes a paw down, I'm simply going to say no and put him back up there. If I have the leash in my hand and he gets down, the direction of your correction is wherever you want their head to go. So if he comes off of his climb, no, 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 I'm going to pop right towards the climb. And then I'm going to leave and then we're going to test it again. So you want to set him up for failure so you have the opportunity to correct him and tell him he's wrong. If you wait for it to happen, your timing's going to be off. You only have 1.3 seconds for the dog to associate cause and effect, behavior with consequence. So you need to mark those behaviors with either a yes or a no. To get him down, his release word is free. So I say name and then free to get him down. But he should get off for nothing else but that. So I should be able to say, come on bud, let's go. No, no, no. So he failed, so now I'm going to try it again. Come on bud. No, no, good. Come on bud. Good. There he made the decision to stay up there. Now you can pet him, give him treats, whatever you need to. I'm going to try it again. Come on, bud. Good. He made the decision to stay. He gets rewarded up there. Now I'm going to show him how to get off. Bobby Frank. Good man. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Good. And then to get him back up there, it's just simply Robbie climb. I should be able to drop the leash and just walk away and him stay up there. Now for healing, We've been working on a lot of downs, but for healing, I want him on the left-hand side. I want his shoulders to be even with my leg. So if he goes in front of me, I'm gonna pop the leash backwards because I want his head to go backwards. If he's too far out, I'm gonna pop him towards me because I want his head to be in towards me. Good man. So when we walk, see I'm giving him little pops if he gets too far. When I stop, I want him to do a stationary command. Down or sit, down, Robbie, down. Good, and it's quick little pop and releases with the collar. I should be able to say down and leave him. I don't use a stay command. I simply say down again, and then when I want him to get up, I say the release word, Robbie free, and then heal to get him to go into heal position. during the climb command. Um, if he can have a bone up there, if the bone should fall, you have to get it. If he can get it with his nose, that's fine. The rule is, is when the paw comes off. So if paw comes off, that's when you have to say no and go correct him. Um, let me know if you have any questions. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> 